welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a homeware haul, but it is going to be like bathroom. But a lot of the, some of these things you could use around the house, wherever if like wherever you'd like them. But we have actually bought these items off various websites. What websites have we used? Have we've used Amazon. Yeah, that was the main one. That was the main one. Um, IKEA, the range. range. Um, where else have we used? Oh, there's like okay. a few little random companies as well, like where we got the plant from. But everything that w I will show you today, I'll try my best to link it all below. Some of it may not be in stock anymore because obviously due to everything that's going on, everyone, I think everyone's decorating, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so let's get started. So we actually decided to decorate the bathroom because we've been wanting to do it for such a long time. We're not really, we are decorating it, but we're just jazzing it up really, aren't we? It's not changed, is it, since we've been here, is it? No, and it's honestly it awful. Needs some love to it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just, it is just awful. I absolutely hate it. It's the worst room in the house, in my opinion. So yeah, we thought we'd do it while we're home. So when are we actually going to start? We don't know when we're going to start doing it. Probably, this yeah, maybe this weekend. Depends on the weather. If it's nice weather, we're not going to want to do it. But so, ordering all this stuff has actually consumed my life until it was ordered. I kept like it's Ross. About a month. Yeah, Ross actually meant you mentioned it, didn't you? And you was like, "All right, let's do the bathroom." And I got all excited because he's allowed me to do the bathroom. <laughs> And then ever since I've been trying to think of things, Ross actually suggested the main colour on the wall, didn't you? Mm. And I've just done like all the accessories and all the good bits. So what I'll do is I'll put my mood board here that I created and then obviously I'll show you all the stuff now. So let's start with the bits on the table. So first of all, should we start with the paint? So you're not obviously going to be able to see this paint, but we'll link the paint below. And I'll also try and put like the colour on the screen now. But it's like a navy. You chose this, didn't you, Ross? So you not even got the colour in the front? Yeah, it's called Midnight Navy. There's not a picture of it though, is there, in the front? No. So it's crown paint, matte emulsion, and it's called Midnight Navy. So it's like a really dark navy blue colour but I'll link it I'll put it not link it I'll put it here now so what was your thought process behind navy then Ross it's one of my favourite colours yeah it is isn't it in his wardrobe it's black navy black and navy a bit of white <laughs> that's actually it isn't it so yeah he suggested it and I love the idea but I was always just a bit sceptical because it is like, our bathroom is small but I really like the idea that it will be cosy and I just think I think it'll look really nice. So I'm looking forward to that. So what's next, Ross? Go through your stuff. No, do the um, decorating stuff. Alright. Frog tape. <laughs> what's this for? Are you joking? Ross, this I got Ross to talk about like the paint and stuff. I said, right, you do this bit. He don't even know what a frog tape. You're winding me up, aren't you? I do. It's like, um, so you can do cutting in, isn't it? <laughs> so, little fact. Ross has never done any decorating. That's ever. not true. When have you decorated? Our room. Oh, Ross, you literally painted one wall, I think. No, I didn't. You did not. What about the wall you left, Yeah. You done one coat on that, I think. Ross. No, I didn't, so... <laughs> Right, so anyway, Ross always, once we, st the room was the example, once we start decorating, oh Chloe, this is why I don't <laughs> like doing it, I'd rather pay someone to do it. My dad has actually decorated like the living room, he'd done Nelly's bedroom, he'd done the kitchen. But he enjoys it. <laughs> he he finds does. it fun. Yeah, he does. <laughs> right, anyway, so yeah, this is actually going to be the first room, no, the bedroom we done on our own, didn't we? No, down, like my stepdad done the flooring. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be the first room we've actually ever decorated on our own. On our own. Yeah, I think it's going to come out quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope, anyway. <laughs> What's this? Filler. So like there's, as you know... Ready mixed filler. Like the bathroom is old, a bit battered, so there is holes that need to be filled. Need to put this down. So we just... 
Okay, next item we picked up was this under sink storage. At the moment, we've got no storage in the bathroom. We've just got like this basket on the floor that is just filled up with stuff. So I wanted, I love things to all be organised and put away. So I'd love like nothing out on the sides, just want it all under this. So we don't, this looks quite small, doesn't it? We're a bit... It does look small. We don't know how it's going to look. And we've it, got to build it. <laughs> you've got to build it. <laughs> But I don't reckon this be any harder than Nelly's kitchen. No, it'd be easy. Yeah. So obviously you're going to see the whole process of the bathroom. So you'll see where I was building this anyway. <laughs> this was really good though. This was from the range. And I think it was like £35. Where I saw good. some of these for like a lot more. So we have done this on quite... I'd say like budget, would you? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Is it? Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, it is a budget. Yeah. Yeah. So we have done yeah, this. Yeah, it's definitely a budget, actually. On a budget. Right, what's these little items here? Okay, we've just got a navy shower curtain. Originally, I wanted to get a white one because obviously I thought the walls are navy, then we've got a navy shower curtain. But Ross said there's honestly no point. Eventually, we want to get a glass screen don't we yeah, so, that's what we want. so for now we just got this because obviously i wear a lot of fake tan and the white one would just get mucky but this will always be pushed back anyway so you're not going to really see it oh this is just a grout pen just to make the tiles look a bit nicer we actually used one of these in our kitchen we done our kitchen and it made such a difference was that the towel yeah, this is like the first time Ross has seen all this stuff. <laughs> so this is... No, I've seen that. Not in real life, have you? Uh, yeah. So this is the hand towel row, like holder. We went for matte black because even though we're doing like a navy wall, I didn't want like silver. I just thought this would look really smart and nice. And also we bought the toilet roll holder for that as well. And also these were so cheap. They was on Amazon for like, I think it was about £10 each. Obviously I'll link everything below. But they're such good toilet roll. quality. Yeah, and this is the toilet roll holder. But we ain't even got a toilet roll holder, have we? <laughs> <laughs> we just put the toilet roll on the side. Like, I know a lot of people do do that, but for some reason it just really bugs me that we haven't got one. And I bet it bugs people when they come round as well, like right now, a toilet roll hold on. <laughs> a little accessory and now brush. It's all for the um, look. Right, so we purchased this, what is it actually called? It's called DC Fix, but there's a called, there is a word for it. Um... Wrap. Yeah, wrap. But it's by the brand DC Fix. I know probably a lot of you sort of know what this is. But we got this to go over our bath panel because at the moment our bath panel is just plain white. And I just thought this, but this could even go really wrong and look absolutely <laughs> tacky and disgusting. You might just peel it straight off. Yeah, and if it does. That's a marble effect though, isn't it? Yeah, if it does, we would just take it off. But, and I think if that is the case, we'll probably just get a new bath panel eventually. Mm. But we just thought it's. I think this is like £8, so it's much cheaper than getting a new bath panel, and I think it could look really nice. So that was that. This one's addressed to me. Because mm. I use your PayPal. No, I'm good job. <laughs> you can that. Right, this item was from a little business that I found on Instagram. They're called Little Bumble Prints. Thing. She sells prints and stuff. She sells prints and stuff as well. And they're these lovely, like, dispenser bottles. I'll put a picture here, like a proper picture of them so you can see. Close up. But they're like this brown amber colour. They're and actually they're, really nice. They're right? so lovely. But they're plastic as well, so if you drop them in the shower, it'll be alright. Yeah, because we was originally looking at the glass ones, wasn't we? And I was just really worried in case like you dropped it in the shower, if it would break. And these are the 500ml bottles. I think four of these were 
I think it's about £22. I think they worked out about £7 each, but then you get a bit of a discount if you buy four, which I think is really good. And we're going to obviously then fill them all up so you ain't got all your bottles on show because I hate that. So that's why I bought this. It's just a 500ml Raydox shower drill. Next item is this wooden bath wrap. So as you can probably tell, the sort of colours we're going for is navy, black and wood colours. Yeah, so these are the sort of colours we're going for. Obviously, like, I think the navy and the black is really smart, but I wanted to add some like natural, earthy sort of tones in it as well. So we got this. Earthy tones? <laughs> what does that mean? What wood? Yeah. Yeah, it's like earthy sort of colours, mm -hmm. like natural, rustic. <laughs> <laughs> we actually laugh because we watch um, James and Carrie, so we'll link their channel below and she always talks about rustic furniture and it just makes me laugh. So yeah, we've got the bath rack, so I love, absolutely love a bath, Ross never is, ever has a bath, but I love it, like a little candle on there, little flowers, I'll show you how I'm going to style it all. So this little candle, my mum actually picked this up for us from Sainsbury's and I don't like the smell of it, I don't think. The smell? No. I don't know, when mm. it's burning, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. But What's no, it this, this is just for show, I think. Yeah. Well, no, because we can light it and then just still have the jar for show. No, because it goes all funny out of that one. Like burn. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, I really just had this for show to just go on the bath rack because it's like the white and gold. I think that'll look really nice. And I don't know where I'm gonna put, <laughs> so I've got all these little things that I want. I'm not gonna know where I'm gonna put them all until it's all complete. Is that a fake? Yeah, it's just like a little fake candle. But batteries in it and it's just got like this natural sort of rope in on there. Rustic rope. <laughs> then we just got like a cream, earthy tones, rustic sponge. And then the rustic of all rustic, we've got this IKEA basket. I absolutely love these baskets. This was about six pounds, I think. And originally I was thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking yet. I don't know what I'm thinking for this. Maybe to go in the storage cupboard. I thought you were in a toilet roll in there. Oh, we got that, haven't we? Yeah. I don't know, but obviously you will all see when we do the bathroom transformation. So if you're not already, please subscribe and turn your notifications on and you will see when we're doing that. So one of my favourite purchases out of the whole lot has got to be this Wicker toilet roll holder. Rustic toilet roll holder. <laughs> like, can you all appreciate how cute that is? That is nice. That is so lovely. I absolutely love anything like Wicker now. I think it's just really in fashion now, isn't it? Where's that from as well? Amazon. It was like fourteen pounds. Is it? Yeah. That's good. So good. Yeah, I just think it's really in fashion at the moment, and I think it would it's going to stay in fashion as well. If you would have told me three years ago that I'd be buying a Wicker toilet roll holder and getting absolutely excited about it, <laughs> I've never thought it. On a Friday night as well. Oh no. There are just some little black matte display racks and I'm thinking to like go above the toilet and yeah like a bit like this. I'm thinking. Not sure yet how it's gonna go. Right, this is Ross's idea, this one. And I really like it. That was my idea actually, wasn't it? Yeah. It looks a bit gappy at the moment, mm. but you have to. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. We actually have to like style it all properly. And where should we put this? You need to talk about this. Right, so right. we got the pot separately. The pot was from IKEA and it was about three pound. Again, the rustic -y, I'm just gonna have to say rustic, like the natural wicker look. And then we bought this like palm tree plant. And the idea is to have this next to the bath. Obviously, they don't know what the bathroom looks like, but I'll link here the layout sort of of the bathroom because I did do another little mood board, didn't I? If you already follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. But yeah, so this is going to go next to the bath 
and I just think it's a really nice touch actually. Frosted well with that. It's bringing in the green earthy mm. tones. <laughs> this this nice. is like earthy, isn't it? It's not a plant. Yeah. I guess so. Mm. We're going to see yourself. <laughs> You're going to see the camera. Right, so we picked up this mirror. My mum actually picked this up, didn't she? She was just at B&M getting some essentials. Did we say we wanted one and then she ran yeah. and said she saw it? Yeah, I think that was it. And yeah, she's just at B&M getting some essentials and she saw this mirror and she called us. So it's just like a gold rimmed mirror. We're not sure if it's going to be a bit too small, are we? I think it'll be all right now because we've got the shelves and yeah. some other bits. Yeah, that's true. So I think it'll be right. Yeah, I think with all like the little accessories as well, otherwise it could look a bit too much. Where if we had like a big mirror, then that would literally be it. So yeah, this was so cheap. This is £14 from B&M. I'm not sure if they still have them at the moment. But up against the navy wall, I think this can look really nice. Yeah, you look what they can see. So it's just like a glass mirror with just a really light, thin gold room. Right, this was Ross's only, one of the only choices Ross made. Oh, okay, and the plant, so oh, yeah. you just second, said that already. Second choice then. What else did I choose? That's it. No. Oh, the paint. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Third choice. You can't see it, this is just a brown box. Yeah, I'll put the picture. Get out. I'll put the picture here and it's just a toilet seat. But this is probably one of the most expensive things that we've purchased for the bathroom. Is it? Yeah. So Ross spent yeah, is, £50 on a toilet seat. I don't know if any of you think that's expensive, but to me I think, what? Well, it's better than having the one that slides off every time you sit in it. <laughs> that's what we've got at the minute. You ever had that? You sit down and you just slide all off like that. That's only about £5, so I thought we'll pay a little bit more. No, that one weren't £5, that was like 20 Yeah, it was 20 See, exactly, so... Yeah, but this one, apparently, like, it can't it can't do that. Can it not? No. How do you know? Because I read the review. Like, that's what the speciality, I think that's why it's £50. Pound. Oh, there you go then. Yeah, and it's a soft closing one as well, isn't it? Yeah. I feel a bit fancy now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just got a basic bin to put all your... Cotton buds, whatever you put in your bin. That was just from the range. Oh, this is one of my favourite things actually. So, this little storage thing I saw on IKEA's website. These are nice, I like these. So, they're Any like glass, glass jars. This was £13, I think. It's cork material, is that that material? Yeah. Yeah. It smells a bit funky. Oh, Ross, don't do that. Well. It goes like that. So, it's these glass little jars on this cork material like tray, and then it's got the cork lids. And I just thought for like cotton pads, cotton buds, and I'm not really sure what we'd put in these, do you know? Maybe some like Kirby grips. What's that hair stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe some hair bobbles. Yeah, that's what we'll use it for. Mm. I might actually order some little labels. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think like that. Yeah, I'm gonna order some little labels to put on there because I think that will look really nice as well. So that was a good little bargain, I think, from IKEA. Next item. This was just a really like basic purchase but then I just bought two of these little storage baskets on Amazon they're like they look these like really they're nice wood actually. but they're actually like plastic so I really like that because you could clean them and I think these would look really nice in like children's bedrooms or even in like your lounge they do like a big one medium one so like you could stack them but I thought to have them in the cabinet they're so gonna fit in there. They'd probably have to go like that. Yeah. But yeah, or even like one on the bottom shelf, one on the top shelf. But I think like one will be for me, one will be for Ross. 
so you won't be nicking my deodorant. Mm. I will. Ross always has his own deodorant, but always wears mm. mine. He prefers, you prefer the women's one, don't you? It smells better, man, yeah. These lovely prints from a lovely company called Bella Ray Prints on Instagram. She, this company is actually part of my giveaway at the moment. All details are over on my Instagram. Oh, he's touching me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one is, it says, I don't know if you can see it, get naked. Hold that on there, room. So this is the vibe, I am not even using the word vibe now, that we're going for. So that one. And these were such good value. I think these were about seven pounds each, and they come with a frame as well, which I thought was really lovely. So let's move that up. So I think with a little space in between each, I think on the wall, I think that oh you can't even see me. I think <laughs> on the wall, on the wall that will look really nice. What was, are these going on? Opposite the toilet. The radio wall, yeah. Yeah. Do you think they're nice? Yeah. Really yeah, so I'll link obviously her company below and definitely check her out because she's like a little small business and she's only just started. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got just a bag from the range. So from the range, I picked up my favourite candle. It's called Orange Blossom and Jasmine and it's just in... It's got like a rose goldy sort of lid. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in the bathroom yet. I might just keep that for the bedroom. I'm not sure yet. Then I just bought a white flannel. These are just for show. And a navy flannel. Because I'm going to do like a little rolled up thing on the bath rack. <laughs> and then I just bought these little flowers. They're just artificial to just go on the bath rack as well. So you sort of like know the sort of theme like the bath rack and then the wine glass that would look nice wine glass yeah what, like the bath mm. have you ever seen the pictures yeah <laughs> and then just basic um bath mat so we actually decided yesterday was it yesterday that we we're going to do the floor in there as well yeah not yesterday day four yeah, yeah so we decided we we're going to attempt to do vinyl flooring so a while ago we done our vinyl floor well we got someone in to do vinyl flooring in our kitchen and then we had like loads left over so we're going to use it to do uh, the bathroom so it could go terribly wrong or it could be fine but we're going to try and lay it ourselves yeah so yeah just got the basic bath mat it's just the what is that actually called navy bubble bath mat is that from the range as well yeah it's really soft isn't it yeah it's nice he's going to get a white one of them as well isn't it? Like I said, yeah from that. Yeah, that's just not a good idea. I just love the look of white. Like, I just think it's so fresh. No, I actually want to get another one. I'm yeah. just going to get two. And we put one in the wash. Yeah. So, and at the moment, what do we even use? We use a towel for bath mat, don't we? No, we do have, yeah, we have. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah. But we do sometimes use a towel as well. Yeah. And then I just got these white hand towels. Had to have something white. I've got two of those. And then just some sandpaper, you know, to do the sanding with the filler. So I think that is, I think I've showed you everything. So hopefully it all comes out lovely, but you'll all see the bathroom transformation coming soon. But I'll be sharing all like the progress as well over on Instagram. So if you're not already following me, please follow me. I'll put my name here. And yeah, so if you aren't already, please do subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're excited to see the bathroom transformation, then please comment below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life.